5,000 metres, 12 and a half laps of the track. Great test for uh, Steve Ovette. As Brendan Foster suggests, they're going to have to take him on in the middle of the race. Test his stamina, test his courage. Well, one doesn't expect it to be too quick, too early, but I think somebody's got to kick it in right in the middle of the race. Well, the Canadian team manager was saying that if the pace was slow, then some of the Canadians, who are not quite in the same class as uh, Walker and Ovet, will do something about the pace. But immediately, the first, the first half lap, about 32, 33 seconds, which is OK pace. I'm interested to see Nat Muir there with a headband in fifth place, just behind Jack Buckner, the Englishman, and Tim Hutchings right next to him, the three of them together in fourth, fifth, and sixth place, because Nat Muir is the second fastest 5,000 meter runner in this field, and uh, if he only he can get it right on the day, and this could be the day, this could be the day when Nat finally gets rid of all the problems that he's had before, gets rid of his ups and downs, and comes out and runs like he did that night in Oslo when he ran 13.17. And, I mean, and he's prepared for this one meticulously. He stayed right out of the village. He came in the other day to collect his vest and his number, and he disappeared. Nobody saw him till he arrived on the warm-up track just a half an hour ago. First lap completed, 65 seconds. That's around a 13.20 pace. The leader is uh, Kerry Roger. Uh, we'll just leave the uh, 5,000 metres in this early stage for the moment and go to the high jump.